Good early afternoon, everyone. T-Speaker 222 XRP Future Millionaire with the side bet on XLM and Future Digibot OG. So as I've been talking about, I think XRP is going to make one more run. And look what look what Tang said. And this is what I'm trying to echo because it's going to go up for the final wave. And then it's going to immediately drop to 70 cents, which could be a 50% drop depending on where this goes. So he said the time zone is getting near and we are above middle of the big triangle. So wave C is in effect to 130 to 140, then down for wave D, 70 cents area, then up wave E and out for the four year cycle. People are gonna think wave C is a burst out. We have done D and E, but I, by the way, I'm still holding out from 112. I needed the uptrend confirmation in the time zone, then I buy the higher low. So exactly, I mean, I couldn't echo that any better. That's exactly what I've been talking about. And I had to go to this chart guys, cause look at the other XRP chart, it's froze. So this is what I had been doing inside possibly, but I can't use this chart. And this would be a fake out to the top side and then it would immediately crash. And this would be a drop of 45 to 50% after a nice little pump here. And that's what I think has to happen. I, I haven't hit it. I even came on earlier and gave you a swing trade possibility with XRP when it was at $1.08 and also Zill. Because I feel like Zill is going to start following VeChain and we're going to be able to use VeChain as kind of like the what's happening here. And you see how Zill is compared to VeChain. So we're going to see and then an even better look at this in the 45. That's VeChain and this is Zill. So you can see Zill hasn't even extended out yet. So we're going to see what happens. They may not even do this, but this is what I'm looking at cautiously. If we do have a wave C run up, well, it's nice to be in positions, but at the same time, this could just be a fake out. And once it hits the top of the symmetrical triangle, something could happen. But with, what happened with Bitcoin? Yeah, my line got pulled down. What the hell? It's almost where it's supposed to be because it did break out over the top, but this was the first time Bitcoin officially broke out. There we go. Okay. So that's how it's supposed to be. Our wick finally broke over the top, but if you look at the four hour or the one hour, it's it went over and now we might be riding this as support. And if that's the case, we will make that move up to 49 or 59,000. I haven't been targeting 59, but I have been showing you the possible, well, I've been targeting it as a possibility. But I've been showing everybody that's where that cup and handle at 59.684 can make that all enticing double top. But we have to use 56.620 as support for this to work. And we're trying to do that right now and it's easier to see in the one hour. So we're going to see what happens here, guys. But this is it's going to be interesting because you kind of got a sneak double bottom here that could very well play out and then crash. I'm telling you guys right now, though, if you are an XRP and you see XRP at $1.30... That's when you start to consider selling. If you see it hit $1.40, you get the fuck out because you know a 50% crash is coming imminently. This is why I haven't been telling you that it can happen tomorrow. This has to play out first. It has to. It's been too much consolidation. So whatever this is going to do, this final little part of the bull trap, even if it only goes up to $1.23, it has to play out. Even if it goes to $1.16, it has to play out. We can't skip a step. And Tang's very smart. He knows. And he we've been talking about the Wave C. And that's what's kept me paying attention to Zill. Because that's what I'm looking at. But I was going to buy, with all due respect to DGB, I was going to buy it. But on Uphold, it would have cost me $105 to buy DGB. It cost me $54 for the... And that's still fucking ridiculous for crypto. But it's half the price it would have cost. So... I've already made that up with how much it's gone up, but that's not the point. The point is, is that I'm looking for something much bigger. And again, for anybody in Fortuna Silver Mines, before I stop this, we are up at the top of the symmetrical triangle where we broke out a little bit. And it looks like we're on a classic head and shoulders here. So it's never a bad idea to take profits. We're at the top of the cup that we played. Now it's time to wait, let it retrace the support or see if it breaks out. And if it does, it'll ride this downtrending support uh, resistance line as support. That's why I put the 448 there. So if it does that, then obviously you can buy back in. 
But right now, you got to worry about these profits. That was a healthy gain for a 13-day hold, roughly. Not even. Eight-day hold, maybe. You know, you're talking some 20% now. Eight, well, not 20. That was if you got in before. But my alert was at $3.89. So, yeah, you're up 17% right now. I did well on Fortuna. I'm out of the position waiting for it to re uh, do its support or ride this trend line. Because you could have a very wide bottom that formed here, that double bottom. That's what I've been pointing out. But now we got to see if this gets confirmed because oftentimes you go sideways and a little bit down here. And then that's when you can get back on board. And right now I would say if you've seen this pull down to $4.00. Man, that $4.33 now would be a nice spot if you see it pull down to there and hold. That would be your next entry point. Otherwise, let it go back down to the bottom of the triangle. It's just at some point, gold and silver is going to start taking off. And gold and silver are having good days today. And the only thing that's irritating is my AAU. I have 7,200 shares at .378, and it's barely moved. Everything else is fucking doing great. GPL's up 6.29%. A, you should be up. B2 Gold's up 6 I mean, this should be up. My GPL's doing fine. The only problem is I only have 3,500 shares of that. So I'd rather A, you be up because I have twice as many shares. But all is well that ends well. Not hasn't ended well, but maybe it will. So, but yeah, pay attention to this, guys. So make sure to hit that like button, turn that bell notification to all. And... Hit that like button or dislike button, it really doesn't matter to me.